As per usual, I don't really know where I am. Actually, that's a bold faced lie because I have a map. I'm at the Kyoto Chorakuji Temple. Um, it's beautiful. There's some tree bark on my forehead because I found this beautiful tree that was so flat. And when I put my heart onto it, I saw a moth doing the same thing. Oh my god. I'm in Kyoto. I just got here yesterday. It's pretty much officially my first full day here, actually. Yeah, I landed here at 3 p.m. yesterday. So. In 24 hours, I was able to pray at this temple. There's another temple close to it that just wasn't the vibe. This one was about 1,000 in, and there's like one other person on the ground so far that I've seen a visitor, and then another visitor came and prayed very quickly and then left. <sighs> but it's been beautiful. I, I um. I haven't really been enjoying my um, my apartment. It has, I, I saw a cockroach and I captured it, like threw it outside and, and um, the toilet seat like broke, but I put it back together, but they used the wrong pictures. Like they used different pictures than what it actually was. So I feel a little bamboozled and then the listing said it had pots and pans, which it doesn't. Um, so that feels a little wonky too. Um, I paid about like $60 a day for it. And I'm just looking at like hotels in the area and I'm just like, I could have paid that much. Just stay at a hotel. Either way, I'm literally in the smack dab of like Kyoto. I mean, I'm like, in walking distance of this temple. I don't know like what area, Gian. It's like very touristy, which I was like, it's by Shinjuku market or Ni Nishiki. Ciao, I really don't know, but I'm gonna find out and tell y'all. Um, it's very touristy. I picked this place purposely because it was so um, it was in walking distance to a lot of different places. Um, so I was like, let me just be in the middle of it if I'm going to stay here for like a short period of time. And I was a little overwhelmed with the amount of people and just like that I'm not able to like make food and stuff, make dinner in my house. And then the lighting is off. I'm just, I think I'm just mourning beautiful beautiful space that I was in and I wasn't able to make a tour before I left well I, I did actually make a tour but I think you can see the reflection of my naked body so I might have to like blur it somehow anywho I'm gonna record some of my walk here I don't know how long I can stay um but it's beautiful. Oh goodness. This like lip gloss does that white thingy. And I didn't really know what that was because I've just been blessed at picking like really amazing lip gloss until now. But it's the Dr. Lips natural like beetroot one. And that one just makes my lips so white and I love it so much because it's tinted but my absolute fave is it is it even in here I don't know I don't think it's in here but I'm gonna turn the camera around go for this walk it's been beautiful I just wanted to share because I got away from the crowd and it feels really good to pray and 
sit and yeah, just be in nature. I'm so blessed. It's like, oh my God, I'm so thankful. Oh my goodness. It's definitely hollowed ground. There are um, bodies that are here. There are tombs that are here. Um, so I want to be as respectful as I can while documenting. But I just feel really blessed to be able to pray like in the sun with the trees. These big, beautiful spiders. Oh my God, and these webs are so chaotic. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around because I'm done showing my face, even though I feel really pretty today, even though I, the mirror, something about the mirror, the way I woke up, I was just like, oh God, I feel a little decrepit, but okay. But I'm sparkly and I'm beautiful. Okay. You can't see the spider. You can see a little bit of its web. Oh, that sun, so beautiful, so gorgeous. Oh, you see the web a little bit? So chaotic, so beautiful. <sighs> so thankful. Here I am. I don't know how far this walk goes and I don't know where it goes. There's lots of signs, but I can't see them um, or I can't read them. I don't think that's a trail even though I probably would go up that way if there weren't really big spider webs everywhere. They're everywhere and they're really big. But there's stairs, so let me just go up the stairs. Yeah, I don't know. I can't read that kanji or that me. I don't know. Moor, moor, moor. Mm. Mm. We're learning. We're learning. Every day, every day we're getting better. Um, uh, bless, um, I think this is somebody's, somebody's grave, so I don't want to record it. Um, I'm going to pray and, well, first I want to, record this sign just so I can translate it later. There's a lot of crows everywhere. Okay. This sign. Okay. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna pray really quickly and um maybe record my walk down and show you the tree that I hugged. It's a really special tree. So, okay. Alrighty, so I don't think I can go up anymore. I was actually drawn to this place because I wanted to go as far south as I could. Um, I wish I could go into the mountains, but yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out transportation here. I, heard it was pretty daunting and honestly I'm I get a lot of anxiety taking public transportation if I'm on a bus for like an hour going to some like waterfall in nature and then there's like an hour back and I'm gonna be like two and a half hours on the bus and then waiting it just seems like a lot I'm um I'm just gonna go as far as my feet can take me and maybe take a taxi somewhere fairly close. 
um, just invest and have some time, like maybe out in nature. If I was with somebody, let me turn it around. If I was with somebody, I would be more inclined to, yeah, just like be, navigate on discomfort or navigate, um, yeah, being out in public, being seen and things like this. It's just a lot when I'm alone. Um, I'm more hyper uh, aware of people perceiving me when I'm alone. It's It's been pretty intense today already. I'm just like, oh gosh, how can I alchemize attention to pay my bills? To pay my mortgage to pay for food and resources for myself and my loved ones and my relatives because I generate a massive amount of attention I just do people breaking their necks to like stop stop their cars and look at me and then when I wave have the audacity to just <laughs> turn like they didn't just stop traffic you know This tree is so beautiful. Um, so we'll see. I definitely don't want to be in the apartment. They, the landlords reached out to me. I'm going to see what they say. I sent them pictures of the cockroach and the broken toilet seat and then ask them about oh there's a skeeter gotta keep it moving and then asked them about um the pictures and how it's a different apartment um so we'll see either way i'm enjoying my time walking around in kyoto it literally has only been 24 hours i've met a lot of great people so far um there's a lot more mm, i don't i don't know about that but there's a lot more tourists period and then i think that because mm, maybe because of that i'm like more aware of like queerness here I don't know, I feel like this is the most people that I've been around since I've been in Japan, even though I've walked through like Namba um, and like Umeda. And I went to like <laughs> Pride in Osaka, but this is the like, this is still is a lot. I think it's the most people that I've been around and like stayed around in a while. So I think I'm just processing that. Um, but is there something sucking on me? Ugh. Anywho, let's go down the mountain together, shall we? further north into the mountain but I'm I'm excited um, I talked to my friend who <laughs> nobody tell I have a little crush on on them um, <laughs> what is this doing here it's like this broken glass I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this with me, put it in the trash. Um, 
One thing about me is that I crush easily. Um, a little too easily sometimes. I'm like slowly putting this piece of glass in my pocket. Maybe not the best. It's thick enough where I don't think it'll break in there, but still. Anywho. Oh, so big. Um, yeah, crushes. I don't know. I definitely feel like I have a beautiful imagination. And, um, and I can get carried away. I mean, it's, I'm not going to say it's gotten me into trouble, but I'm a very proactive person. Like, I tell people when I have crushes on them if it's, like, substantial enough. And there have been people who, I mean, one of the people recently who I've been thinking about a lot because he also really likes, like, Japan and has been there, studied abroad here. And we're, like, very close, but we were very close friends. And when I told him I was attracted to him, ghosted me for like two years it's been two years already um given I you know was did it in a very dramatic way I mean I wrote a letter and a declaration of attraction and really just like the safety to be able to do that with a friend um whether or not they had the same feelings for me I felt comfortable doing that so that I could just release it and move forward however the friendship manifests like from that sharing of information and I like sent it while I was in New York and like sent it off via mail with a picture one of the first pictures I took of him and he just did not respond um and I sent him a text afterwards for his birthday. Like a couple months after that, did not respond. And it's kind of been that way for like two years. Anywho, I just want people to be declarative to me. I want people to, yeah, like tell me they have crutches on me. Like that's just not what I've experienced so far. I've always been the initiator of any romantic anything sexual is different um but usually the only people to initiate sex with me are cis men and <sighs> yeah if it is a cis man I just want them to be extremely aggressively submissive if that makes sense aggressively submissive and then, you know, yeah, just be very open about attracting attra attraction towards me or romantic, romantic crushes and stuff. I'm like, mm. and I and I want them to be with people that I like. Also, I'm like attracted to. There have been a handful of people that tell me that they like me, and out of that handful, like half, I'm like actually don't like you like that and when I say a handful I mean like three people within the past however many years anywho let's walk down I'm ready to walk down I'm ready to walk down this is beautiful I love it so much thank you this bamboo forest Gorgeous. So gorgeous. Anywho, let us walk down and see what's going down on the base of the mountain. Check what the landlord said about the space. Just like, yo. Yeah, it's very tiny. And the bathroom, and I saw 
a message that was quite similar, but I just really did not think about it. Um, when I stand up, my head touches the top of the ceiling in the shower. So when I take a shower, like the top of my head is touching. Anywho, once we get down, I'm gonna show you this tree and then say farewell for now. Skeeter bit me already. Got my hand right there. Can you see it? No, it's not that red. Anyway, it's been beautiful. I'm thankful that this temple called me to it. Yeah. Just going to. Ooh, this is where the tree is. I wonder if that moth is still there. Let me show you. Same thing that I was doing. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Doing the same thing that I was doing. This apple isn't as juicy as I like it to be. But these trees are getting... They're getting red, honey. Mm. I was able to ring the bell and it was nice. There's something sucking on me. Ow, ow, look at it, y'all. Look at it. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that has to be the best and worst feeling. Squishing a being into your skin that's actively sucking on your blood. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I need some repellent. God damn. Oh, wow. The crows. It's beautiful here. I'm thankful. I'm gonna finish this apple. And go downstairs. Oh, <laughs> down. Well, yeah, I'm downstairs, but anywho down the mountain, see if there's something that I could eat down there. We'll see. some aggressive monkeys living in the area. Ooh, that, oh God, that, that, oh God. There's a spider, they're so big. Oh God, they're so big. What is up here? What are these places? What is this? Gorgeous. Oh, excuse me. Okay.
Looks like it's closing. Somebody done left their water bottle. Oh. It's reminding me I have to um I have to empty the glass that's in my pocket. Oh, it's just so inviting. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I gotta come back. I gotta come back, y'all. It's so gorgeous. I love it. I gotta come back in the morning. I gotta come back in the morning and, and go in and go deep and go high. Okay, yeah, I'm going down. It's cold already, and I saw two white men out here. I ain't trying to be in the dark with no white people. Mm. You know, <laughs> some of y'all might. You might. You know? Anywho, I'm gonna go between the white men and the monkeys. It's giving. Be careful, babe. It's giving. Choto mate. It's giving. You know. Cuidado. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna listen. But best believe I'm gonna come up here. Again. Excuse me. I'm gonna come up here again. Sun light. All right, over.